Hello, Gavach, Jamtif, Tei Teves, and we are in the middle of Perik Zion, and we're in the middle of discussing Klippas Neiga. And Klippas Neiga, we said, is that in between stage, where most things in this world get their vitality from, and we're discussing if I have food, let's say. That was our example before that the Alder Rebbe discusses. And he says, I do it exclusively for bodily pleasure. My taste buds like it. That's it. So then I put that energy, and it goes down into Ra, and it's trapped up in Ra, and that's where it stays until I do tshuva. If I do a tshuva, since this is mutter, this is heter, food, it's kosher. And the words mutter and heter mean unbound, as opposed to usr means tied up. So if I do something solely selfishly for, with, with a mutter thing, with mutter food, with kosher food, so it's right now in ra, but it is free to be elevated through a tshuva, and it will go up with me when I do tshuva, as opposed to something that is not kosher. Something that is treif, this is trapped in the shalash kupas tmeis. And when you eat that, it becomes a part of your body, and it never goes away. The only time it goes away is when it's bila hamavis time. When Mashiach comes and all, all um, tumatika things will be eradicated, that's the only time it goes away. Till then, you will have an element of your being that is still trapped within Shalash Eclipse Tomatoes. Another way to get out of it is if you have a real tshuva me'ava. If you were really, 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 you know, you felt like you were in a desert, in a barren place, and you were away from God for so long, you were in all these Averis, and it was actually these Averis that aided you to realize how far you were. You realized, wow, I'm so far from Hashem, I'm trapped in all these Averis, and that made you thirst for God. So they were in a way, these Averis in a way, were the inspiration for you to reach towards God. That's what they say, because that, that means that when, where a Baal stands, even a Tzaddik doesn't stand, because a Tzaddik is always with God. And yes, he's always good, and there's something very special about that, but he never has that thirsting passion to get there because he, he, it, it's his status quo versus by a Baal Shuvah, he's coming from all these Averis and he's been away from God and his soul is yearning and it's pulling out of ah, Chuva. and that kind of Chuva, your Averis, even the Shosh Kippus Timaeus ones will be elevated because they aided in your in your Chuva. but if we're talking about something that that, that you're not doing such a deep Chuva, you just do a you could do a proper Chuva and you'll be welcomed back into the fold and God loves you but that that element of your Shosh Kippus Mace will not be redeemed unless you do that deep, deep Chuva Ma'ava. So that's today's Tanya. Thank you very much. We will see you tomorrow morning.